Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is William. In this video episode, I wanted to talk about how to read a PDF file. And we are going to use a package called Smallot PDF Parser. And I'm going to just search for it. And this is uh, the GitHub link for that package. I want us to install it in a fresh Laravel um, 10 uh, installation. So I'm just going to copy this. Composer requires Smallot PDF parser and I'm going to paste it in our terminal and this command will be able to install for us the Smallot uh, package. I have in, I have inside my storage app I have a folder called docs and inside here I've downloaded a, a PDF file and I think that is what we will be working with so you can be able to download yours and maybe put it in a folder called docs if you want to follow word for word in whatever it is that i'm doing but of course you can be able to have it elsewhere also as long as you are able to locate the package i want us to go on and do some coding even as this one continues to install so we are going to go to routes web.php and inside here is where I want us to instantiate our package and be able to go ahead and use it. So what I'm going to have, I'm going to, in a variable called parser, I'm going to have a new instance of a smallot, smallot PDF parser, and then parser, like that. After that, we can be able to get the path of our files. So I'm going to have path and this I'm going to just get the storage path. And when we use storage path, we actually check in the folder called storage. And inside here, I want us to go to app and then docs. The name of our file is Laravel tutorial underscore tutorial dot PDF. Now we have the path we can be able to read or in other words, pass the pdf in this path so i'm going to have a, 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 i'm going to have a variable pdf we are going to include parser the instance which we have instantiated above and now we can be able to pass the file and pass in our path after that now we can be able to go ahead and do so much and i just want to give a few examples so the first thing that we can be able to do we can be able to get the metadata and the metadata for a PDF are just the details of the author, the date it was created, and so on and so forth. So we can just do PDF, and then we say get details. I just want us to DD whatever it is that we have here, so metadata. And since my application is running, let me just check if it is running. I believe it is. Yes, it is running, so we can be able to just visit the local host 8000 because I'm actually doing the changes in that method. And you can see we have author, creator, creation date, mod, modification date, producer, and pages, and so on and so forth. So basically, we can be able to get those details from our PDF file. On top of that, we can be able to do more. We can also be able to say PDF get text let me just try that so uh, we can say text is given by pdf get uh, text then maybe let me just echo text now if we are to refresh now you can see we can be able to have all the text that is within our file like that and then it's still possible for us to be able to read the specific pages so maybe with that we can be able to just say uh, have pages and then we can have pdf get pages and in this case if we are to dd the pages you will find that we have a collection of the pages the different pages that exist within this uh, folder of ours you can see it's taking a while for it to load, but I believe to be able to load and show us the pages. So now you can see we have um, the several uh, pages that exist. So we have page, in this case, it is assigned zero. 
in our array up until 23. So in other words, we have like 24 pages in this document of ours. And we can be able to read a specific page and maybe get the text of that page. So maybe we can be able to modify here and say that uh, we want to get the pages and we want a specific page. So let me say page 21. And then we can uh, even get the text now. So get um, text. So in this case, we will get the text that belong to page 21. And in this case, just to do a simple thing, I can just echo. We echo the pages. And if I'm to check again, if I'm to refresh, now you can see we are passing some text. I believe this should be text that is from page 21. So basically, that is how you can be able to use this PDF parser. Of course, there is more if you have time and depending on your use case, you can be able to look at it and see how it can be able to help you in your specific project use case. Thank you very much for following this video up until this point. Subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. You can also share and you can give comments if you have a question. Thank you very much.